changing the way I'm going to do things. Oh, it looks so good with the velvet lamination on. I can't believe we managed to pull this off. Let's get to work and plan the year ahead. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> All right, I have just planned my whole year for 2023. Let me show you what it looks like. Oh my gosh guys, I have just got the most exciting news. If you've been following the journey on the last few vlogs, you will know that I've been working really, really hard to get a 2023 calendar up. And today, pre-orders go live, but I have just got a message off my local print company telling me that the proof is ready to go on approve. So I'm gonna hop in my car and I'm gonna see what the calendar looks like. I'm fingers crossing that everything's gonna go okay because the pre-orders go out today. Oh my gosh, weird way to start the studio vlog, but let's go, shall we? I'm so excited because we are currently on our way to go and see a proof for my first official catnip calendar. So I have been grafting away over the last few weeks to try and pull this together. We are using a local print company and they literally just sent me an email to say the proof is ready. So let's go see what it turned out like. I got it, I can't believe it. Look at all these pre-orders are now available. This hasn't got the coating on it yet, but I am so happy with how this turned out. Let me know in the comments if you want me to give you a full tour of the calendar. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <gasps> I am so happy with how this has turned out, but I did notice I made a mistake, so thank goodness they proved it for me. They actually looked through uh, all the calendar, made sure all the date was right, and I'll show you where I made a mistake. It's looking so good on the back. I did this design where we have like the months going across it. On the front, I drew catnip because she, has, she hasn't got a official calendar page, so I thought I'd put it on the front. It looks so good, guys. I actually can't believe I've managed to pull this off. I literally can't believe it. I'm going to give you a full tour when I'm in the studio tomorrow um, but I actually decided to keep this um, font because when I added the design to it, it actually looked really really good. So, so in July I don't know if you can see this but I have these note boxes um, on different months and I'd pushed it into the first box. I don't know if you can see that there. Uh, so we haven't got a number one. Luckily they have seen that and they've changed it for me. And they also added uh, a page of notes at the back because they needed an extra leaf and they've added, so at the back you can add your yearly notes or maybe you could even write your goals. So you have all these lines, box, line boxes, you could write your big goals, which is what I'm gonna do for the year. But more on that tomorrow when we're in the studio and I'll give you a full tour of the calendar. Oh no, I've ran out of my alphabet letters. I was trying to write Christmas and I've ran out. Oh well, my planner looks really cute this Christmas week. How adorable, I've got peppermint right here. I saved these as seconds on my peppermint stickers. There we go, I finished it off with some pencils. It looks all right actually, doesn't it? My fringe is actually out of control. I don't even know what to do with it anymore. It's so short and it's all like snapping off and it's just like this all the time. Anyway, hello guys. So I am just about to sort out everything for next year. Literally, I am changing the way I'm gonna do things. And 
my small business it kind of has just felt chaotic since the beginning and I kind of just used to put out different like things all the time and I just used to put out collections when I was feeling it in the zone and then I would miss deadlines I would miss dates and you guys if you've been watching this channel for a while now you will have seen that I have started to get better and better over the years at bringing out collections in a timely fashion this year I feel like we're starting to really get there I managed to do my autumn collection at the most perfect time I got it out in the beginning of September and really autumn slash Halloween start selling in August but I still feel like I was ahead of it because before I was literally uploading my Halloween products in the middle of October which is no good for anyone because people want to use their autumn products especially if you're a planner or a sticker store like me or you have themed items that, and you're like me where in September you're ready for like that autumn vibe and you put out decor and stuff and you want to wear those autumn pieces so I feel like this year I started to finally get better at doing the collections still a little bit later than I would have liked to be honest because there was some delays and that's bound to happen in small business but we managed to get it out in November rather than the middle of December which we literally did the year before. It makes my product launches kind of unsuccessful because people are like well it's over now and by the time it gets to me because a lot of my customers are international it's already been and gone. I am starting to get a little bit better at it and I feel like every year we progress in some sort of way where we get better at releasing stuff but now I want to go a step above that and I want to plan out my whole year literally one day or one week should I say. I already have been making notes in my planner about collections that I want to do next year and I'm going to take it another step further than that. I'm going to brainstorm on my notebook. I got this beautiful notebook from Emily Harvey, my friend, this Hopes and Dreams bullet journal. I'm going to use this notebook as a place to plan my collections, what I want at every collection and shop update, and when I plan to do that shop update. That way it actually gives me more of a focused mindset of what I need to do and when I need to do it by. For example, spring products, I will be doing that in January. I'm already a bit late for Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day should have started in November. Things that I've learned over these years where I need to kind of pin down a time, otherwise the time just runs away from me and before you know it, it's Christmas and you haven't done anything. Honestly, that's seriously what it feels like. The weeks just tick by and you're like, oh, I've got plenty of time. Spring's not for two months, but then you forget that things take time to get made. There might be manufacturing errors. You never know if anything's gonna go wrong with the printers. So I'm changing the way I do things. But I would literally do kind of a shop update every every time I just had a new product. I'm not gonna do that anymore. I'm gonna keep them and bundle it all together and release them. And I'm thinking of about five shop updates a year. Because what I found was happening was I was releasing that many products all, all kind of sporadically that people would just wait for my next shop update, which meant it hindered the original shop update and it also meant that I was not marketing the items enough. We have like I think nearly 500 items in our shop and a lot of them aren't marketed properly. So there's a few things that I want to focus on in the collections is enamel pins. I really want to focus on doing collectible enamel pins through the seasons. I also want to start doing Bumble Butt in a load of different outfits as well because Bumble Butt is one of our popular characters here at Catnip and introducing some new little collectible pins for different seasons. I'm actually going to be starting my very own catnip collection, generation one of pins. Once they're gone, they're gone guys. So if you've seen generation one of the catnip pins, that is any pin older than the middle of 2022, they will not be getting restocked. That is it for them. They might be getting revamped to the second generation where we'll have the logo back stamped, but the first generation, once it's gone, it's gone. And I want to start collecting them myself. I'm even going to do my pin banners because if you don't know, we sell these pin banners on our store and different pin displays and I want to kind of have a wall. I'll show you our wall actually. Just behind this door here that we've got propped open is our pin display wall but as you can see it's looking pretty sad. I've got a magic pin collection, my pin collection with some of my first generation pins on them, we've got this little cloud pin collection of other ones and now I want to 
have Pudding the Dog, Bumble Butt, and I want to do different seasonal ones. So eventually, over time and through the years, I will have different catnip collections and different like themes for different seasons and different stories, and it should look really, really cool. So that's what I'm going to do going forward. And I'm going to plan those collections because I already have them in my head. Like honestly, some of the products that I've made sometimes may take me three years to actually release them. But I have some ideas of what theme I want to do for next year for certain things. So I am going to get this out. I'm going to look at the notes that I've made on my phone over time and I am going to whittle down what I'm actually going to do. And then I'm going to use my catnip calendar and plan my year ahead. And speaking of catnip calendars, why don't I give you a little tour of this? I know I promised to do that earlier in the vlog. So let's have a look through this so you can have a look through it. I've actually already started planning and then I thought I'd show you guys uh, what I'm gonna do, but let's have a little catnip calendar planner tour. Okay, so first and foremost, we have the front page, which has catnip on it because I haven't done her in any of the calendar spreads. So I thought she needs to be on the front. So I've put her on the front here. And on the back, we have an example of all the calendar pages first page is the happy new year page we've got bumble butt in his little spacesuit. we've got luna and sprinkle the stars which is actually going to be in a enamel pin collection and what i've done on the calendar design is i wanted to have a cohesive look so any dates that weren't like starting on monday for example if the first didn't start on a monday and we had the spare space i decided to make them into little note panels Next up we've got Pudding in his little Cupid outfit. This is so heckin' cute. We've got Sunny peeking up out the top here. Next up we've got March, which looks so colourful when you turn the page. Bumble butt with Froggo with little pond sausages everywhere. Really, really love this spread. Bon Bon and Bumble Butt chilling out in a field of tulips and daisies and peonies. Uh, this obviously is beautiful pastel colours for spring. We've got a beautiful April calendar there. Next up we have Satsuma the cat and I really wanted to bring in next year and I had this in mind that because I wanted to bring out kind of a cottage car duck kind of range and I knew that I wanted to do that so I made that part of my May calendar. June was an illustration that took me the longest. There's just so many details here inspired by a lot of my travels to European countries and my coffee shop travels. July is where I made a little mistake you can see at the bottom here of the calendar. I decided to make July a nice summery image with gingy and spice that means halfway around gingy and spice are in there next up we've got august i love august it's a camping month i love camping in general we love to go out in our camper van but moving on to the autumnal months which is september of course september has to be shroomy so i've got him running in a bunch of leaves so that when this is hung on you all you get a real feel for autumn in october we have purple, which is a kind of more Halloween-y colours. And we've got a bunch of Gordo, we've got Pudding, we've got Marshy, Bumblebutt and Bartholomew. Next up, we've got Froggo and Bear being all cosy by the fire uh, for November spread. Getting cosy because winter is starting. So yeah, that is what the calendar turned out like. I'm honestly so, so happy with it. I am now going to begin scheduling all my collections all about simplifying things so i can get as much done as i can and being more productive let's get to work and plan the year ahead okay so i was just planning out the calendar i'm still only on january it's just about to do february and i've just had a call off the printers to say 150 of the calendars are ready and it means we can start packaging some of the calendar orders how exciting.
managed to pull this off. That means in next week's vlog, we will be packaging up calendar orders and sending them off to you guys and hopefully you're gonna get them in plenty of time. I've wrote down all like dates and holidays that I've got booked in the calendar, so that is all ready to go. Now it's time to plan my product launches. planned my whole year for 2023 let me show you what it looks like all right so i've literally just filled a bunch of pages up in this planner of all the things that i want to do <laughs> this year and honestly now that i look at it it seems a little daunting but it also feels great that i've got it all planned out so let me show you exactly how i've planned it out first up i started with all the collections that i actually wanted to do this year from winter in january and february through to spring march then on the next page we've got summer may autumn and halloween launch and then we've got an august launch and a christmas launch which is like quite a juicy launch there i basically wrote down all the characters what i had planned for each season what i wanted to get done and honestly i have so many ideas that i had to really limit limit myself in what i put down here because normally it's not cohesive but i really want to start focusing on cohesive collections rather than just a bunch of things threw together for that season that i think is pretty i want to focus on collections and then i also put an additional thing here one thing i do want to do is add more functional planner stickers to my store this won't be a big launch or anything it'll be a case of when i do it and i kind of like publish them it might go into these launches but this is just adding to the top of the functional planner stickers that i want things like alphabet dots doctor's appointments vets injections if you guys have any functional stickers you would like to see please let me know in the comments and i'll do it also i want to also increase my greeting card range then i have my christmas ideas so we have the catnip 2024 calendar which is weird to even put it down because i've just finished this one and then we have the first gingy and spice book which i literally wrote back in 2020 in september when i went in my van and i visited this coffee shop i actually wrote my first book i have a bit of tweaking to do but i'll talk about the plans for the book in a second moving on to the next page i did a little mind map of uh, big goals that i would like to achieve here we've got possible sweaters which i haven't added on all the collection page these are just like bonus things my first gingy and spice book a planner question mark spice plush toy to match gingy now i'll have to do a kickstarter for that because it is a lot of money up front to pay for it and i've never done a kickstarter before uh, greeting cards gingy and spice cookie cutters and the main goals i've wrote here published catnip write illustrate my first book book ginger spice cookie cutters spice plush pin uh, multiple enamel pins and i wrote down all the dates and the launches and i realized that i was pretty much doing it every month which is what i said i wouldn't do so i literally changed this multiple times so there's going to be around seven or six launches in total and then on the next pages I had social media so for my social media I'm planning two to three reels a week some static posts I'm actually going to cut down how much social media that I'm doing next year I've decided I'm not going to do as much I used to post every single day and next year I'm going to focus on quality rather than quantity I don't know what it is about TikTok I did manage to grow my TikTok to 40 something thousand followers but I'm just not 
obsession with it as much. I'm not sure why, um, for business, I'm not sure. But I'm still gonna spread it along the platforms um, and do them both and then here over, over here on YouTube, I'm still gonna keep up my, with my video all week. I have also planned out my weeks because if I realize that if I want to get my book done I wrote a timeline of from March onwards because I am going to be going away in February I will need to complete 6.4 pages every month of the children's book if I want to launch it in October slash November so I broke down all of the months and weeks and as you can see I need to do six point four pages every month. This is where it gets daunting because this is why I've pushed off doing a book for the longest time. But if I've proved anything to myself by doing this calendar, I've proved that I can do it. But it is gonna be tricky. It is gonna be really tricky to get all these things out. I'm definitely gonna have to start doing neck and shoulder exercises to make sure that I'm not um, like hurting myself from all this illustration work. To top things off, I have my personal channel that I also want to grow and travel and stuff. So it seems very daunting, but I think if I break it up into chunks, it actually will be okay. Who knows, I might have to start delegating things like my social media because it's getting harder and harder as the years go on and my goals get bigger and bigger to do everything. That is basically what my yearly my year for 2023 looks like now hopefully everything will go to plan but obviously not everything does but it just feels great to have it down i don't have to worry when i'm feeling not so creative i don't have to worry about planning a new collection because my collections are already done for the whole year i know exactly what collections in my head are going to look like and they're already written down and i just need to focus on them so it kind of takes that extra stress away from you because i already know going to the month thinking oh my god i have to do some sort of product launch this month and then before i know it i haven't designed an enamel pin in time i haven't done anything in time so that's my plan anyway speaking of plans i have done so much talking in this vlog i'm so so sorry i hope you've enjoyed this chatty vlog on how i'm planning my year ahead but it is the final christmas night out so we like to take the team or mike basically now uh to a meal and celebrate the last day of working. We're gonna go for a nice meal and celebrate the year ending here at Catnip. And I just wanted to say a huge, huge thank you again for all your support this year. Even if it's just watching these YouTube videos, it really does from the bottom of my heart mean the world. And I can't wait for 2023 when we put all these collections into action and start a new exciting journey, which is hopefully doing my first official children's book so come and join me on the journey if you're not subscribed make sure you subscribe because i feel like i'm just beginning in this whole journey and i'll see you all very soon merry christmas everyone and a happy new year and i'll see you in 2023 all right thanks so much for watching i love you goodbye